Hey guys, Tom with BuyMeAnIPhone.com back at you today. Today we're going to be looking at a case that was very popular for the iPhone 3G and 3GS. And I think that this case is going to be very popular for the iPhone 4 also. Okay, today we're going to be looking at the Sadio Inno case. Okay, it's, this is the Sadio Inno case 2 for the iPhone 4 and it comes with a combo holster. Okay, you can either buy these separately or you can buy them as a combination. Now, if you guys buy these separately, they're $29.95 each, but if you buy them as a combo, the case and the holster, they are uh, $49.95, so I think that's a pretty good deal. Guys, the Setio Inno Case 2 is a slider style case, and we're gonna move over to the close-up camera, get that going. Uh, we're gonna do that right about now. So, first, what I wanna go over on the case is on the inside of the case, as you know, Setio is very well known for their felt on the inside of the case. So as you can see, okay, there's very, very rich felt in here. So your iPhone is not gonna get scratched up. Okay, now the one problem that I had, the, the um, felt is thick, and it was thick in one little spot up at the top. Okay, so when we put our phone in here, you will see that at the top, my screen shield pulled up just a little bit. Okay, so what I did is, and we'll slide the phone out just a little bit there, what I did is I took a little bit of that felt away and it seemed to alleviate that screen shield pull up. Okay, so that was the only issue that I had there. Okay, when you put the phone back in the case and you put it on, it slides in very nicely, almost so nicely that I thought that it was gonna rattle around when it got in there, but it did not. So it slides in really nice, you put the bottom on, it's very nice and secure, but it's not a pain to get in and out of the case. Now, let's look at all our ports. When you look at the bottom, you have one big port for your 30 pin dock connector, okay? On the right hand side, or you know, I guess it depends on how you're looking at it, on the side with your vibrate switch and your uh, volume buttons, it's a nice big opening there, okay? And it keeps gives you a lot of room to get your fingers in there. And I really like that the buttons aren't uh, covered up because I do like the feel of the stainless steel band on the iPhone although you want to cover it up most of the time but this gives you just a little bit of a taste of the feel of the stainless steel. Now when you go to the top your sleep wake button is uh, very easily accessible nice big cutout for that. Where your headphone jack is and your secondary um, your secondary microphone, nice cutout for that. Guys, I haven't had a problem getting any headphones in here. I keep eight or nine uh, sets of headphones around the house, so I have not had a problem with any headphone jacks there. Okay. Now, uh, moving around, as you can see on the back, okay, it is a nice matte, nice matte finish. Okay. So you're not gonna have a problem with the flash bouncing off the case and washing out your pictures. I did a number of tests. I did not have a problem with the flash bouncing off and giving us any washout. As you can see also, Sadio uh, paid special attention to this camera hole and flash hole. As you can see uh, here on the Inno Case 2, it has a piece of plastic that goes right down the middle of it. I'm not sure why they put that there, whether it's for protection or maybe that has something to do with the flash not bouncing across the lens. Okay, but very high attention to detail. So there is a little piece of plastic that uh, separates the camera from the flash. And as you can see, it's got this nice design here. Um, on the front, it does give you a little bit of a lay on the table design. Okay, the first Inno case for the 3G and 3GS did not give you a lay on the, uh, much of a lay on the table design. It came right up to the bezel. This one does. It gives you a nice lay on the table design, which does lead to the case making the phone feel a little bit more bulky. Now, I've been using very slim cases over the last couple weeks, so um, I've been using this for about a week now, and after about a week, it kind of starts to feel the same. But if you're using a very slim case and you move to this, you will think that it's a little bit more bulky than it actually is. Now let's move on to the holster. Okay, as you can see, this is a holster just like the holsters for the 3G, 3GS. Couple different design changes. On the top, you still have your spring-loaded uh, clip there. Okay, very nicely designed. As you can see also, guys, there's this little nipple right here. Okay, and I'll show you how that, what that's designed for. Now, when I tried putting this in and out of the holster, you can put it face in or face out, but it is designed to go face in, and I'll show you why. On the back, it has this ratcheting, rotating clip, so you can either uh, clip it on your belt clip horizontally or vertically. Okay, very nicely designed there. Now, when we put the phone into the, into the holster, as you can see, when we uh, have that clip go across the top, that little nipple 
does go right into that spot where the sleep wake button is. So you're gonna have a nice, um, really secure fit there. So you're not, that's not gonna pull out by mistake, okay? You're not gonna have your phone drop out of this case by mistake. Once you lift that up, as you can see, that nipple right there comes out of the um, sleep-wake button opening, okay, and it releases it. Now, you can do it face out. I don't recommend it, okay? But as you can see, when you do put the phone uh, in the holster face out, okay, it's raised up a little bit. That clip is raised up a little bit, okay? It does not have that little clip in there, so that nipple will not get into that, that sleep-wake button hole. Okay. So uh, just a kind of an FYI, I had been rocking it both ways and then after a day or two I noticed that that little nipple is designed to catch that sleep wake hole so um, it gives it a really nice secure fit there. Now guys, I'm not a big holster guy. I don't wear my phone on my belt a lot. You know, I wear my phone on the belt when I'm wearing a pair of athletic shorts or whatever that don't have pockets. So I'll kind of throw it on the waistband just to kind of have my phone, uh, you know, around without having it in my hand. So guys, that's my review on the Sadio InnoCase 2, okay, the case as well as, well as the holster. Okay, very nice combination. You can check it out at setioonline.com. Again, separately they are $29.95, together they are $49.95. So really good bargain if you buy them as a bundle. Guys, the uh, Inno case for the 3G, 3GS was real popular. I am predicting that this one's gonna be real popular also. Great protection, guys, especially drop protection from the Inno case too. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. And I really like how they designed the holster to have the uh, phone face in, as well as that little nipple that kind of catches the top of the case, really makes it nice and secure. So guys, that's my review on the uh, Setio InnoCase 2 with the holster combination. I hope that it helped you out. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. It's tommosha at buymeaniphone.com. Best way to get an answer quickly. Follow us on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash buymeaniphone. If you want to follow me personally, it's twitter.com slash nerfsqueezer. Okay, check out our Facebook fan page. And as always, don't forget our stick cam show. It's every other Saturday night, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. 8 p.m. Pacific, and we always have a great guest, a uh, great interview. We give away lots of prizes, and we just uh, talk a really cool tech talk. So, guys, again, thanks for watching. I hope it helped you out. Thanks for your support. As always, have a great day, and we will see you in the next video.